In this video, we're going to solve a problem taken from the Oxford Mathematics Admissions Test. Given a and b are positive integers, with sum equal to 20, find the maximum value of a squared times b. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I believe that everyone can solve this problem because under this condition, when a and b are positive integers, both a and b are at least 1. And if one of them is at least 1, the other number is at most 19. And that means there are actually finitely many possibilities for the values of a and b. And my first method is to list all of them and try them one by one. Here are all the possible values of a and b. For example, when a is 4 and then b will be 16, while for um, if a is 7, then b is 13, and so on. So here are 19 possibilities, and I'm going to calculate all these products, starting from 1 squared times 19 is actually 19. 2 squared times 18 is 4 times 18, which is 72. 3 squared is 9, and so the product is 153. And then 16 squared is 256. 5 squared times 13 is 325. 6 squared times 14 is 504. And you may notice that the numbers are actually getting larger and larger. Next, we have the product is 637, 768, 891, and then 1,000. If A keeps go, uh, going larger, 11 squared times 9 is 1089. For 12 squared, it's 144. And multiplying by 8, we have a 1152. 13 squared times 7 is um, double 183. And then 14 squared times 6 is 1176. Now you may notice that the number went, um, went up. And then starting from 14 squared times 6, it starts going down. And the products afterwards are number 125, and then 1024, 867, 648, and 361 respectively. And so that means this is the maximum value when A and B are positive integers, and this is the answer. We might be able to solve this problem by listing out all possibilities when the sum is just 20, a relatively small number. But what happens when the sum is a much larger number, say the number 20 becomes 2000, then we need a much more generic approach. To do this, I'm going to use the AMGM inequality, which says that for any natural number n and any and uh, given n positive real numbers, I call them a1, a2, up to an, then the arithmetic mean, which means adding them up and dividing the sum by n, is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean, which is multiplying the n numbers and taking the n fruit. Or I can move the n at the denominator to the right, and so we have a sum greater than or equal to n times the nth root of their product. And for this inequality, we will have the equality to hold when all the n real positive real numbers are equal. So how do we use this um, inequality? The trick is, let's use the sum equal 20 as the example. I'm going to write a plus b as half of a plus half of a and then plus b. Now, this sum from the AMGM inequality, I can say it is at least 3 times the cube root, because there are 3 terms at the left, 3 times the cube root of their product. So now at the right, 
you have something in terms of a squared times b. And that's the reason why I decide to split a into the sum of two a terms, but each carrying half of a. So on the left side, we still have a plus b, which is 20. And now at the right, we have three times the cube root of a squared b over 4. And so what we have to do is to simplify this inequality. So we can cube both sides. We have 8,000 to be greater than or equal to 27 times a squared b over 4. And so that means 8,000 times 4 over 27 is squared than or equal to a squared b. And so we know that the maximum value when a and b are just real numbers is at most 32,000 over 27, which is approximately 1,185. Now this is not the, um, the exact final answer, but it provides an inspiration because when we want to find the maximum value, we want to find when does the equality hold. From this inequality, we know that we can attain the maximum when a over 2 and b are equal, which means a equals 2b. And since the sum is 20, a plus b is just 3b and equals 20, we know that B should be 20 over 3, which is somewhere between 6 and 7. And indeed, 7 is closer, so we know that for the positive integer case, our expression is maximum when B equals 7, and consequently, A equals 13. So, it resembles what we did in the trial and error approach. And so our final answer is that the maximum is just 13 squared times 7, which is 1,183. This is our final answer. Please feel free to share ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.